let us proceed further from where we had left off. Last time we saw, uh, understood what the definition of Laplace transform and also, I mean, we didn't really spend too much time on definition of Laplace transform. We spent time on understanding table of Laplace transforms, which is very important. So important that I will stop this lecture for some minutes, few minutes and uh, recall what is that uh, table. So this is very important for you. Uh, please recall Laplace transform of constant function is one by S. Laplace transform of e power a t is one by S minus a. Laplace transform of sine a t is a by s square plus a square. Laplace transform of cos a t is s by s square plus a square. Laplace transform of sine hyperbolic a t. Remember what a sine hyperbolic a t? I'll recall orally. e power a t minus e power minus a t divided by two. Such a function, Laplace transform is a by s square minus a square. Laplace transform of cos hyperbolic a t. What is cos hyperbolic a t? e power a t plus e power minus a t divided by 2. So Laplace transform of that is s by s square minus a square. And Laplace transform of t power some integer is t power n where n is an integer is n factorial divided by s to the power of n plus 1. And lastly t power p where p is any number, real number. It can be, need not be integer. It can be 0 0.2, 0 0.3, minus 0 0.7 and all such things. Root 2, cube root of 27, all those things, uh, cube root of 27 is the cube root of 30, anything it can be. For such a thing, t power p, Laplace transform of t power p is gamma p plus 1 divided by s to the power of p plus 1, where gamma is the gamma function which you know well. Uh, so this is, we use this uh, and also we used linearity transform, linearity property of Laplace transforms to find Laplace transform of various functions like this. I will not repeat that here. Even bad functions like sine t, cos t and all, we did that. Uh, today I want to do the next part. Just a minute. Uh, this we did. This is what we did. Uh, even if you have product of sines and cosses and all, we know how to do it. Uh, this also we did. Now, uh, this is the important thing. Uh, we want to, in this class, in this lecture, I want to elucidate a bit on properties of Laplace transforms. What are the properties which are useful from examination point of view? So below is a list of properties of Laplace transforms that are extremely useful in solving differential equations. So we'll come to differential equations later. Proofs are not part of the syllabus, thankfully, but all of them follow directly from first principles. So if you are really interested student, you try to prove these. They are very easy. They all follow from first principles. And this is the standard notation. Now onwards, you have to get used to this notation. Capital L of FT is capital F of S. Laplace transform of a function in T domain is a function in S domain. This small f and capital F, if you give me small f, I can tell you what is capital F for many easy f's. That was what the table of Laplace transform showed. You should tell me, for example, f of t is t square, then I know what is capital F of s. That is 2 factorial divided by s to the power of 3. So understand this capital F. It's the Laplace transform of small f. This is a standard notation. If I write small g here, I'll write capital G here. Laplace transform of gt, small gt is capital G of s. This is a notation. So we will use this very often now. Uh, one of the most important useful uh, properties of Laplace transform is Laplace transform of e power at into ft is capital F of s minus a. Capital F means, remember, it's this, Laplace transform of ft. So if you want to find Laplace transform of e power at into ft, all I have to do is to find Laplace transform of small ft and replace s by s minus a. That's what this formula says. It's called shifting rule or change of frequency rule. It's very, very important. Very useful this is. I know it's a bit abstract. Only when you see an example, you will understand it better. So I'll go very quickly through these properties. Laplace of t into ft. So I have ft and I'll multiply by t. That's a new function. If I want Laplace of this full thing, then it is minus derivative of capital F of s with respect to s. What is capital F of s? I told you it is Laplace transform of ft. So if you know Laplace transform of ft, then I can find Laplace transform of t into ft by this formula. Bad formula, but it is a nevertheless a formula. 
Similarly, division by t. If you know, if you want to find Laplace transform of f t by t, then you first find Laplace transform of f t, which will turn out to be f s. You integrate that from s to infinity. That is what is Laplace transform of f t by t. So these are three very important. There is one more rule, but I will not tell you that. They rarely is asked in the exam, so I will skip that completely. Uh, these three rules are very useful and. Uh, very important also. L of e power a t f t is capital F of s value. So capital F means Laplace tensor of f t. So if you want to find Laplace tensor of e power a t into f t, just find Laplace tensor of f t. Then replace s by s minus a. If you want to find Laplace tensor of t into f t, just find Laplace tensor of f t, which is capital F s, and differentiate with respect to s and change the sign. If you want to find Laplace tensor of f t by t, then find Laplace transform of ft, integrate it, call it fs, and integrate it from s to infinity. These are three very important properties. I, I know it's a, a bit abstract, so let me give you specific examples. This power of this formula is far reaching. So let us try to find Laplace transform of e power 2t into sine 4t. Ah, it's not, again, I'm emphasizing it is not. Laplace transform of this is not equal to Laplace transform of e power 2t into Laplace transform of sin 4t. It is not true. Laplace transform of product of functions is not product of Laplace transform of functions. So, how do I do this? I first observe this is of the form e power at into ft, where ft is sin 4t. Means whenever you see a function with e power at into something, cover up e power at. Remaining is sin 4t, for which I can find Laplace transform. Then I will use that shifting formula. So, how to say this? Given function is of the form e power at ft, where ft is equal to sin 4t, and Laplace of sin 4t is easy to find from the table. I know Laplace of sin 4t is 4 by s square plus 4 square, which is 4 by s square plus 16. Now, using shifting formula, what does it say? L of e power at ft is capital F of s minus a. That means capital F of what is capital F of S is nothing but Laplace of Ft, which I have just formed. If Ft is sin 40, Fs is 4 by S square plus 60. So I have just formed Laplace of sin 40, which is the capital Fs. But I want F of S minus A. A is what? It's coming from E power AT. So you replace S by S minus 2, because here A is 2. E power AT, E power 2T, A is 2. Laplace of E power AT into Ft is capital F, that is Laplace transform of small f and domain, uh, the variable is s minus a, a is this e power a t, whatever a is there in e power, e power here is 2, so replace s by s minus 2, whatever it is, 4 by s minus 2 whole square plus 16, as I said, this is not a very pretty formula, doesn't matter, it's pretty ugly, doesn't matter, just leave it as it is, you don't have to try to do anything else. <clears throat> what you must understand from this is, if I want to find Laplace transform of some function which is of the form e power at into ft, all I have to do is find Laplace transform of ft and replace s by s minus a in that. That is what I have done here. I hope it is clear. Please go through these slides again and again. One can't understand at one go. I know it. If you are not understood, do not worry. Go through this lecture again. You will understand it better. Now let us check Laplace transform of e power 40 into t power 5. So this is also of the form e power 80 into ft where ft is equal to t power 5. And I know Laplace transform of t power 5 is 5, divided, 5 factorial divided by s power 6. So use the shift formula, shifting formula e power 80 into ft is Laplace of that is f of s minus a where f of s here is 5 factorial by s power 6. So that is f of s. Well, now replace s by s minus a. A here is 4 because e power 4t. That's what we have. So Laplace of e power 4t, t power 5 is whatever the Laplace transform of t power 5. But in that you replace s by s minus 4. That is what we have done here. Even the previous problem, that's what we did. Laplace transform of e power 2t sin 4t is Laplace transform of sin 4t, which is 1 by s square plus 4, 16. But in s, place of s, I'll replace s by s minus 2. 2 comes from e power whatever is there. So here also same thing I'll do. 
Laplace transform e power 4 t t power 5 is Laplace transform t power 5 which is 5 factorial by s power 6 but in place of s I'll write s minus 4 4 coming from e power 4 t now I hope this part is clear and very often you will get things like this e power 80 f t so you should be able to figure out how to find Laplace transform e power 80 into f t Laplace transform of t into cos 60 so now no e power, but that's okay. Even with t, if you multiply it by t, factor of t, if I know how to find Laplace transform of cos 60, then I know how to find Laplace transform of t into cos 60. How do I do that? So that's what I'm trying to show you. This is of the form t f t, where f t is cos 60. So use this Laplace of t f t is minus d by d s of l of f t. L of f t is capital F of s. So what is L of ft? I know ft is this L of ft I can find from the table. La, Laplace of cos 60 is s by s square plus 6 square. So s by s square plus 36. So that is L of ft. Now you have to differentiate that with respect to s. That may be pretty bad, but you have to do it. L of t cos 60 is minus d by ds of s by s square plus 36. How do I differentiate this? Use u by v rule. Numerator denominator square into de derivative of the numerator into denominator minus numerator into derivative of the denominator. You know this u by v rule. You work it out. I hope I have done it correctly. I will not try to check because I may have made a mistake. No, I have not have made a mistake. Here, check. A square minus 2a square is a minus a square. But why is it a square? Oh, it is plus 36. So I made it minus 36. There is a minus here. So it will become nine. Okay, that's fine. So this is correct. I have not done any mistake. Please check for yourself. So answer, as I said, may not really be very pretty. Um, Laplace transform of t cos 60 is a square minus 36 divided by a square plus 36 whole square. Very bad thinking of expression, but that's okay. Now I have combined two things t e power minus 2t sine 5t. Now what do I do? You see, this is if I find this is of the form something into e power 80 means uh, e power minus 2t into t into sin 5t. So if I know Laplace transform of t into sin 5t, then I know Laplace transform of e power minus 2t into t into sin 5t. So to find Laplace transform of this, first I will cover up e power 80. Remaining is t sin 5t. How to find Laplace transform of t sin 5t? Ah. If I know Laplace transform of sin 5t, then I can find Laplace transform of t sin 5t. That's what I will do here. See here. This is of the form e power t, e power 80 t f t, where f t is sin 5t. If I know Laplace transform of this, which I know because it's in the Laplace, table of Laplace transform, then I know Laplace transform of t into f t. Then I can find Laplace transform of e power 80 into t f t. That is the procedure. So let me do it slowly and show you. First, find Laplace of t sin 5t using Laplace of t f t is minus d by d s f of s. f of s is Laplace transform of f t. So which is sin 5t. So then using this I will find Laplace transform of yeah okay I am just uh, showing you what I told you already. So let us try to do it in detail. So Laplace transform of t into e power minus 2t into sin 5t. First I will find Laplace transform of sin 5t. Is the easiest one t and sin e power 80 are easy using those two rules so i'll just find sin 5t laplace transform of that is 5 by s square plus 5 square this follows from the table of laplace transforms now i will use i will try to find t into sin power 5t its laplace transform is minus d by ds of laplace of sin 5t which is 5 by s square plus 25 so to differentiate this there is no alternative so if you differentiate this, you will get this. Please check whether I have done it correctly. Mostly I would have done, but if I have done it wrong, please correct yourself. You know how to differentiate this. I already told you denominator square, numerator, etc, etc. So do this. Now this is Laplace of t sin 5t. Now Laplace of e power minus 2t is t sin 5t is in this you replace s by s plus 2 because a is minus 2 here using that shifting formula, you will get this pretty looking function 10 into s plus 2 divided by s plus 2 whole square plus 25. Very bad looking, but that's okay. That is how you do it. So uh, you might ask question here. So one minute, how to, what did we do? 
t and e power minus 2t we forgot all about it we closed this and found laplace transform of only sin 5t and used the properties of laplace transform to find laplace of this full thing of course you can ask me why did i not first use e power minus 2t why did i use t first because I will use e power a t in the end because all I have to do is just replace s by s plus a, s minus a. Whereas with respect to t, multiplication, I have to differentiate. If I had first taken e power minus 2 t into sin 5 t, that means in this first if I replace s by s plus 2, then to differentiate it is more work. To do find t into sin t into e power minus 2t into sin 5t, its Laplace transform is more effort. So instead of that, I'll write this first, e power minus 2t into t into sin 5t. In that order, if I do, it's just easier that so. Even if you do the other one, you will get a correct answer. Find Laplace transform of sin 60 by t. So now here, I'll have to use the third row. Here it says, if you can find Laplace transform of sin 60, I know how to find Laplace transform of sin 60 by t. Of course, Laplace transform of sine 60 is easy to find. So here, I will use this formula. Laplace transform of ft by t. So ft is sine 60 here. Is integral of Laplace transform of ft with respect to s. Integral between s to infinity. So these are a bit uh, involved. If you have not, if you are not used to integration problems, then you will be in bit of a trouble so you better recall your old integration techniques so here f of s that is laplace of ft ft is sine 60 is 6 by s square plus 6 square now this you should know how to integrate this i don't know if you can recall integral of 6 by s square plus 6 square is tan inverse of s by a you must remember these kind of things integral of 6 by s square plus 6 square is tan inverse of s by 6. You must know this. Integral of a by x square plus a square dx is tan inverse x by a. That's what I have used here. And this uh, function, uh, the variable limits s to infinity. So do that. If you put infinity, you get pi by 2. If you put s, it will just remain that only. Uh, that's it. This is the answer. Laplace transform of sin 60 by t is this. It's very simple if you know this integration. If you don't know this integration, this is very, very difficult. Means you don't know what to do. I'm trying to teach you only Laplace transform techniques. Integration techniques, I'm not trying to teach you here. So Laplace transform technique, what is the important part here is, I observe that this function is of the form ft by t. And if I find Laplace transform of ft, I know how to find Laplace transform of ft by t. How? By integration. That part I'm not teaching you now, but I hope you know it. So I hope this problem is clear. So if I want to find Laplace transform of ft by t, I'll find Laplace of ft only and then integrate that from s to infinity and get the answer. This is another very popular problem with examiners. e power minus 5t, find Laplace transform of e power minus 5t minus e power minus 60 divided by t. Uh, so this again, I will not bother about the denominator part because Laplace transform of ft by t is integral of Laplace of ft between s to infinity. So I have to just find Laplace of e power minus 5t minus e power minus 60. But that is easy. Laplace of e power minus 5t minus e power minus 60, I use linearity. I use this will be Laplace of e power minus 5t minus Laplace of e power minus 60. So that's what I have written here. This is nothing but Laplace of e power minus 5t is 1 by s plus 5. Laplace of e power minus 60 is 1 by s plus 6. So 1 by s plus 5 minus 1 by s plus 6. This you have to integrate between 0 to infinity. How to integrate this? I know this is log of s plus 5 minus log of s plus 6, which means log of s plus 5 by s plus 6 between s and infinity. These are standard. So your problem is over. If you find this log of s plus 5 by s plus 6 between s to infinity, your problem is over. But I know many of you will have trouble here. So I have written on the details. This is nothing but log of s by 5 plus s by 6, s by 5 by s by 6 minus log of s by 5 minus s by 6. This is s 
tending to infinity here s is s itself this is i have to put s to infinity to s minus s i have to put s itself so i have put that here but here if i put infinity it will come infinity by infinity zero log zero minus infinity all sorts of problems so we will not do that we will express it as a limit and evaluate this this you must have done long back how do you evaluate this divide numerator and denominator by s you will get 1 by 5 plus s 1 by 6 plus s the other term i'll keep it as it is now if you let s tend to infinity this will become zero this will become zero so i'll get log 1 plus 0 by 1 plus 0 so that is log 1 by 1 that is log 1 log 1 is 0 so this whole thing becomes 0 so i'll get only this which is log 1 is 0 so which is nothing but log of s plus 6 by s plus 5 that's the answer i know this part is your old limits problem if you don't know you'll be in trouble my part here is to convince you that laplace transform of e power minus y t by e power minus 60 by t all i need to do is to find laplace transform of the numerator that's very easy to find i found it here and then i have to integrate your problem is if you don't know how to integrate this kind of log of something uh, integrate 1 by s plus 5 minus 1 by s plus 6 you will be in trouble uh, that i cannot help it in this course similarly i hope this is clear this is basically you are using limits to solve this integration problem uh, but it's a perennial favorite with the examiners especially you they'll put a and b here instead of 5 and 6 i'll put a and b and then ask you to do this it's the same answer instead of you know, you'll get S minus B by S minus A. Uh, it's okay. You can do it. This is another perennial uh, favorite with examiners. Find Laplace transform of E power minus T sin T by T. So now what do I do? You see this, I know Laplace transform of E power minus T sin T, I know. How do I know that? Because I know Laplace transform of sin T. And then from that, I can use shift rule to find the plus and so on e power minus t sin t. The plus and of sin t is 1 by s square plus 1. But e power minus t, if I multiply, then I have to replace s by s minus minus 1, which is s plus 1. So the plus and so on of e power minus t sin t is 1 by s plus 1 whole square plus 1. But now the plus and so on of e power minus t sin t by t is nothing but integral of this. So again, where you will find difficulty, where you might find challenging is how to integrate this. Integral of s plus 1 whole square plus 1. I means I sympathize, my sympathies are with you because if you are left out integration in the past, this will be difficult. This is a standard integral dx by x square plus 1 or x plus 1 whole square plus 1. Doesn't matter, it is a linear transformation. So uh, if you take this, it is tan inverse of s plus 1. I don't have time energy to explain this. The integral of ds by s plus 1 whole square plus 1 is tan inverse of s plus 1 between s and infinity. So lower limit s, upper limit infinity. So put that, if you put ta, but tan inverse of s plus 1 from infinity, uh, put s equal to infinity, s equal to s, you will get cot inverse of s plus 1. These are trigonometric identities you must have seen between you know, you get pi by 2, pi by 2 minus cot, uh, minus tan inverse s plus 1, which is same as cot inverse of s plus 1. <coughs> These are all your old trigonometry and uh, integration, which could be troubling you. But I return on the solution here. I have no time to explain these things. My job is to explain you the Laplace transform part. So understand, Laplace transform of this whole thing is, if I know Laplace transform of sine t, which I know, then I will find Laplace transform of e power minus t sin t. From that, I will integrate to get Laplace transform of e power minus t sin t by t. That's integration is your headache. If you write till here, at least you will get reasonable amount of marks. Means this is what you have done in your previous classes from here to here. How to evaluate this integral? I don't know. They keep asking this. this. So as uh, that's what I'm emphasizing here. I have seen all these are more a test of how well you can integrate. If you know how integration well, only then you can do your Laplace transforms. So I maybe I'll stop here. These are sufficiently uh, uh, tough problems to understand at one go. So I'll stop here for today, at least for this lecture. Uh, I will continue again uh, giving you next part of the 
Laplace transforms and their properties. Thank you.